Good evening. <clears throat> well, now it's the time for the invitation. It's a time toward the end of our worship, extended for anyone that may not already be a Christian, wanting to approach our Heavenly Father and tell him of their desire to be with him. A first step in the journey towards a relationship with Christ, our Savior, and a path to heaven. It is also an opportunity for fellow Christians that have a need to approach God publicly and ask for the prayers of the congregation. But in either case, this is a very personal action that can be quite intimidating and not easy for people to do. Tonight, I'd like to share three biblical examples of some very brave steps forward that people took, people that we see as examples in the Bible that had some of these feelings that are not so uncommon, but definitely worth the action on their part. So first off, I'd like to just think of Noah. And in Genesis chapter 6, God instructed Noah how to build the ark. He told Noah that all living creatures should be loaded up in this ark and that the earth would become destroyed. It would destroy the wickedness on earth with a flood. And he explained that to Noah. Could you imagine hearing that? What's a flood? What's an ark? What are these things? But in Genesis 22, or Genesis 6, verse 22, it says, Thus did Noah, according to all that God commanded him, so did he. In this case, Noah was asked to do something that was completely f a foreign act. Uh, to them, never considered before, but he took that step forward. In another case, Abraham, Genesis 22, God instructs Abraham to offer his only and loved son Isaac as a burnt offering. Could you imagine that? But in Genesis chapter 22, verse 3, it says, And Abraham rose up early in the morning, saddled his ass, and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and clave the wood for burnt offerings, and rose up, and went into the place for which God had told him. Now this was three days. He knew that this was going to happen, and he journeyed three days until he found that location that God had for him to build that altar and sacrifice his son. Could you imagine every day waking up and stepping forward to go do that? The third case is Moses, Exodus chapter 4. Moses was talking to God at the burning bush. And Moses was very reluctant to go back to Egypt and approach Pharaoh to free God's people and lead them out of Egypt. He, I dare say, argued with God, but definitely there was a conversation. There was some lack of confidence in Moses. He said that he couldn't speak well. He said that there were things with him which he didn't feel confident in going. But in Exodus 4, verse 20, and Moses took his wife and his sons and set up upon their ass, and he returned to the land of Egypt. And Moses took the rod of God in his hand. In that case, Moses was asked to do something that he had little to no confidence in himself, but realized God was with him and would provide support. And he took that step forward. So those are three examples of stepping forward. It's not an uncommon thing to lack confidence. It's not an uncommon thing to to feel a little worried or concerned about what might happen. But in those cases, in each time they stepped forward. My hope is these examples will give you something and some encouragement if you are someone that is troubled or thinking of taking that step to God. In Acts 2, verses 37, 38, and then verse 41, we read about the apostle Peter and the response of the crowd listening to that sermon that day. I'll read that here quickly. Starting in verse 37 of Acts 2. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. When we drop down to verse 41, it says, Then they that gladly received his word were baptized in the same day, they were added unto them about 3,000 souls. They stepped forward. 
If you are someone that wants to approach our Heavenly Father and desire to be with him in heaven someday, please take that step forward. Start a relationship with Christ our Savior and do this as we stand and sing.